Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for whenever it resonates, you know. So the timing is fluid. This is a daily reading. This is an energy that I am picking up on that is coming in, okay? So let's just see what comes up. What kind of message do I have to deliver today? What kind of message do I have to deliver today? Ooh, page of cups reversed in the page. Somebody's bubble may be being burst. This is an unrequited love situation. There could be, you know, some tears. Somebody um, is being insincere about their feelings. Ooh, we have the Queen of Pentacles here. The Queen of Pentacles is, um, she's holding on to her value, right? She's holding on to her money. She's holding on to her, her security. She's very secure. She's very stable. But there's a lack of reciprocation here. There's this uh, some sort of I'm not sure. Maybe there's like I don't I'm not in love with you or something because this is lack of love. She looks like she. I mean, this Queen of Pentacles in particular looks kind of. I'm not giving you anything. Take the look on her face. Take a look at it. She's like, uh, no, not interested. If I can get that to zoom in. Should should zoom at any moment. Okay, she looks like, you know, I'm holding on to my own. I'm not very um, open. I'm not really open to giving you anything. Uh, you think twice before you mess with me. That's the kind of look on her face. I mean, she knows that she has something of value to offer and she's not just going to give it to anybody. So, but th and this is lack of reciprocation. I'm not giving you anything. I'm not. I know my value. So, she's very, um, protective. It looks like she's protective of what she has to me. Um, Seven of Wands is uh, stepping down, admitting defeat, feeling powerless. Six of Cups reverse, freedom from obligation, packing up, leaving home, done fighting. I'm not in love with you. Maybe she's gotten the money. This is money. This is security. She has secured something. So this Queen of Pentacles may have secured something. She's she's stepping back. She's sick of walking on eggshells. She's uh, done fighting. There could be some sort of rejection here. I'm, I don't need anybody. By the look on her face, she's like, don't mess with me. That is a don't mess with me look. Nothing stays the same. It looks like there's a love that has died or something. There's no love left with that page of cups reversed. She may be bursting somebody's bubble. Right? A decision has been made. Okay, decision has been made. There's something that is being, some lies are being exposed. The truth is being accepted. Seeing the truth. Seeing the truth about a situation. Seeing the truth about somebody's past as well. Justice reversed. There's an in, there's been some sort of injustice. There's been somebody's been lying. Okay, somebody's been lying. They haven't been telling the truth. She knows it. 
she knows that they haven't been telling the truth. So this Queen of Pentacles has secured something. There's definitely been some lies. There's been an injustice. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth about their past or about their feelings for the past. We have an individual who has been emotionally guarded. This person has been emotionally guarded because of their past, right? And they haven't been able to move on. They haven't been able to move on from their past, from their feelings, from whoever it was that they were dealing with in the past. They haven't been able to move on from that. Hmm. Now, the justice reversed is a big lie. Dishonesty. There's, there's like, there's been some sort of fighting or arguing with no resolution in sight with this individual. We have an earth sign and a water sign here by the looks of things. Could be dealing with a Libra as well. So we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Libra. Um, there's also Aries, Leo, Sagittarius and Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So it could be anybody. We have somebody here that has been unwilling to accept their real feelings. They've been un unwilling or unable to acknowledge their real feelings. They're not over the past. It's not done. It's not final. They haven't finalized their emotions of the past. They keep thinking about the past. They're still holding on to the past. But this Queen of Pentacles is like, she don't look very happy. She's not happy. She may be giving up. Stepping down. She obviously sees that she's dealing with a liar. She's dealing with somebody who doesn't tell the truth. So she sees that. She sees that she's dealing with a liar. Page of Pentacles upright. So this is a new opportunity to go someplace else. I feel like we, I feel like we have somebody here that has manifested a something that has put in effort to start over someplace. I'm going someplace else, laying a foundation someplace else. This person has made plans and now they've gotten the money or they've gotten the funds or they've secured the, the place. They were determined to get out of this situation. So I think that we have somebody here that is uh, going someplace else. They've made up their mind. And they're, they're, it's like they're going and it's not easy. It's just it's not an easy thing to do, but they know that they have to do it. It's like they've been given this opportunity. They've been given this opportunity to step out of this this uh, unrequited love situation. It's like I, the, either the person that they are dealing with doesn't love them, or 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 they don't love the person that they've been dealing with. And I feel like the person that they have, were holding on to is still in love with someone from their past. They haven't finalized their past. And that's why this person has decided that they have to go. You know, I know I know my value. I know my worth. If you can't let go of your past, then I need to go. So I think we have somebody that is starting in a, on a new chapter. This is a new endeavor, a new enterprise, uh, going someplace else, receiving that new opportunity being offered that new opportunity and taking it and, and going, okay? It's not easy, though. It's not an easy task. So I think we have somebody here that is uh, laying a foundation someplace else. It's over. They've been in a situation where um, it's, like, it's like the worst has happened, okay? And now they're breaking free. It's like it's painful. It's painful. It's very painful to leave, but they have to leave because it's hurting them more to stay watching this person uh, hold on to their past. So 
This is like beyond help. It's beyond help. Yeah, the this, this is the decision made. The decision has been made. It's like the moment of decision. Uh, I need to I need to focus on the future. I'm I'm going someplace else. So I do believe we have a uh, person that has a. a received an opportunity a golden opportunity to go someplace else and leave behind somebody who is still holding on to it's like this person is still holding on to their past and, and it's like I know that you can't get over it you can't get over it you're you're not over it you know so I have to go um This this Queen of Pentacles has decided to focus on the future. Move. I think somebody is moving. It's like we can't... This hurts too much. It hurts too much that you don't love me. You're never going to love me. You know, this person had to make a choice. They had two paths. They they had they they could choose to stay where they were, where it was a dead end, or they could choose to move forward and focus on a brighter future. And I think that's what they have chosen to do, even though it's definitely not easy. And this person is probably very discontent and unhappy that they have to do this. It's like I have to be practical. I have to be realistic. And go down this, this start over someplace else. Got to I got to give up. I got to stop trying to make you love me. You know that kind of thing. Anyhow, the ten of the ten of swords reversed. It's like um, problems have been getting worse. It's been getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. Abandoning, abandonment. Somebody has been in an unhealthy relationship, and now they're they're ready to walk away. That's what I see. It's like because they got this new opportunity that has been presented to them. Finally, they got something stable and solid, something that they can build a foundation. It's like I can build a foundation here. They finally gotten that offer, that way out, and now they're they're taking it. It's like I. I gotta go. I can't. I can't be a victim to your own victim mentality. I can't uh, fill your void. I do believe there is some some sort of karma here with that justice card reversed. Somebody didn't want to be held accountable for their actions. They were lying, being dishonest about their true feelings. Just, just, it's like they were using another person. They were using another person to fill a void because there's no love here. And I feel like this person that was, was filling the void has come to realize that there's no growth, there's no opportunity for love because this person is still in love with their past. So I feel like this Queen of Pentacles is making a difficult decision. That Queen of Pentacles up there, she's making it, she don't look happy, okay? She's making a difficult decision because she knows her value. And she's very practical and she's very realistic. And she's ending something. She's making a decision. Because this is an ending. Something that uh, is very unhealthy. Okay? It's unhealthy. Uh, 
Ah, but walking away, pushing somebody away. Yeah. This Queen of Pentacles has been dealing with somebody who wants to win at all costs. Now this person has hurt more than one person. This person has hurt two. This is basically, you know what? This is, this is, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm not doing this anymore. So we do have somebody that is walking away, starting over someplace else, even though it's not easy. They have made the decision. They've begot, they've secured something, another opportunity. They've secured something. They've secured another place to live or they've secured another option or they've secured a way out is what I see. Or they finally made the decision to secure, to leave. Somebody definitely leaving. They're leaving a person that is abusive. This person is abusive. This person is mean. Doesn't care who they are. Is only out for themselves. So I think that there is going to be a message delivered that this uh, Queen of Pentacles, whoever she is, he or she, has secured a new spot someplace else. And I'm leaving this abuse behind. You keep looking back at the past. You can't get over it. Go deal with it. So yeah, I think there's going to be a separation. I think it's going to be painful. I think we have some heartbreak here. Somebody's heart is breaking or it has broke. Because they got involved with a person that was just trying to fill a void. And it's like now they realize it. So they have decided to go. That is what I see. I think there's going to be a rejection. I think we have a queen of pentacles that is going to reject somebody. She's made up her mind. She knows that whoever she's dealing with keeps looking back at the past. And she's looking for something more solid, more stable, more secure than whatever this person has to offer. Good luck.